good morning children how are you i wish you good luck for the new session this year you have three books first flight footprints without feet and words and expressions and third one is your workbook i would like to start with section wise weights and pattern of question paper as usual you have three sections section a reading 20 marks section b writing and grammar 30 marks section c literature again 30 marks now i am going to start your pattern of question paper you will have 10 questions question number 1 is of unseen passage with 8 marks question number 2 is again unseen passage of 12 marks question number 3 you will have to write a formal letter this is either to letter placing an order letter to the editor cancelling an order or complete letter it will be of 10 marks question number 4 will be of writing a paragraph on the hints given on this will again will be of 10 marks question number 5 will be close passages gap filling and editing exercises this question will carry 4 marks and question number 5 will be of dialogue completion and uh, dialogue completion and the uh, writing of dialogue on situation on given situations now question number 7 uh, your question number 6 will be of 6 marks question number 7 will be of rtc exercises it means reference to context it will be of 4 marks question number 8 you will have seven questions and out of seven you have to attempt five questions this question will be of 10 marks question number 9 you will have two long questions out of out of two you have to attempt only one this will be based on first flight it will carry eight marks question number 10 once again two long questions will be there and out of two you will have to attempt to one it will be based on the supplementary book and question will be based on plot theme or characterization now this is the pattern of your question paper now children i am going to go ahead with the chapter of your first flight the first chapter a letter to god which is written by g l friends before i start i would like to throw light on certain points lancho was a innocent person he was an innocent person and a hard worker he worked in fields he was a farmer and he had a staunch faith in god third one he did not believe in his fellow beings next to uh, sometimes it happens that our good qualities benevolence mercy kindness and uh, other uh, good things are taken for granted by uh, the people so with this i would like to go ahead with the summary of the chapter lancho is a farmer he is sitting on a hill and he is having a sight of the farms rivers or fields his own fields he is uh, his a uh, ripen one he had a corn fields his corn is ripen he is very happy he is like waiting for a good rain to take place and he saw that clouds were there in the sky so be, uh, being happy he came inside his house and shared his happiness with his family members luckily it started raining and it rained heavily so he became very happy but his happiness did not continue for a long because this rain converted into a heavy storm and a strong wind started to blow with this hail storms also started to fall and within no time all the fields were full of hail storms everywhere there were small pieces of ice no green trees were visible so this was a very sad situation for him he lost his all hope he became disappointed but his staunch faith in god did not shake him and he believed that no one dies 
out of hunger. Thinking this, he decided to write a letter to God because he thought that God was responsible for his unfortunate time. He went to the post office, wrote a letter to God and requested him to send him 100 pesos. Children, pesos is currency which is used in Latin American countries and put the letter into the mailbox came back and when the postman went to collect letters from the mailbox he saw an envelope addressed with god so he was quite surprised he came to the postmaster and discussed about it first of all they all laughed at his innocence but postmaster who was a kind-hearted person thought to help him. He requested his fellow uh, uh, colleagues or uh, uh, means to collect the money and to give this to him. So they all collected money, put it in an envelope and waited for him to come and to hand over to it, uh, him. After some time when he came, this envelope was handed over to him. And all the employees of the post office, they were very happy because they had helped a person. But now, the man who had been helped by him was not very happy. Because the money uh, he, which was demanded by him was not according to his desire. He had requested for 100 pesos, but there were only 70 pesos. 30 pesos were not, were uh, uh, lacking in the uh, envelope. So he became disappointed and he thought that this money was taken out by the employees of the post office. So he became angry and once again wrote a letter to God. And this time he wrote to God that uh, employees of the post office were a bunch of crooks. So God should send money to him directly. And once again put it into the mailbox. All the employees of the post office, they were waiting for some thankgiving sentence from him. So when they saw him writing a letter, the, the postman quickly went to the mailbox, took out the letter and started reading. But he was disappointed because he had uh, blamed uh, the employees of the post office for cheating, for taking out the money. So now they all became disappointed. So the children, my point that one should believe in fellow beings because the whole world depends on faith and belief. Now, I think chapter would have become clear to you. You read the chapter once again yourself and try to Answer the questions which I am giving you. Question number one. Why did Lancho became angry? Question number two. Why did the postmaster send money to Lancho? Thank you.